We go back to the formula. Known dosage over known amount equals desired dosage over desired amount. Let's go back and find our variables. We see here where you are ordered to give seven and a half milligrams of albuterol. This seven and a half milligrams is our desired dosage. Okay, perfect. What, is, what, what are our available dosages? What do we know that they come in? Well, they come in 2.5 milligrams per three milliliters. This is, the, this is the known dose. This is the known amount. So now we just have to go back and plug this information in. We know that we have 2.5 milligrams, and that comes in a unit dose in the amount of three milliliters and that's going to equal what we desire we desire seven milligrams we want to give seven and a half milligrams so how many milliliters do we need to give well let's see we cross multiply we do seven and a half seven point five times three equals twenty two point five that's going to equal two and a half times x Two and a half x. Now all we have to do now, remember, is to get x by itself. So we're going to divide both of these by two and a half. That's going to leave. This going to cross out. That's going to leave x by itself. Two, twenty-two point five divided by two point five equals nine. So we need to give nine. X equals nine. Nine what? Nine what? Oh yeah. Remember back here we had x milliliters. This is important. We're looking for milliliters. So we need to give nine milliliters to this patient to deliver seven and a half milligrams of albuterol to this patient. 